But our first story tonight isn't about rugged individualism, just the opposite, really. It's about people who are asked to check their individualism at the door so that they can work together as a team in cooperation with precision in perfect harmony. It's Thursday night at the Blanchette Community Center in St. Charles, and that means rehearsal night for the Ambassadors of Harmony, an a cappella chorus under the direction of Professor Jim Henry. The Ambassadors are basically a giant barbershop quartet. With over 100 members in this chorus, they sing four-part harmony on a grand scale. But the goal is to make this big chorus sound as clean and, and uh, together as a quartet might sound. But it's the same exact philosophy. It's just louder, basically. <laughs> Ranging in age from 12 to 82, they come from many different professions. Counselors and chiropractors, teachers and students, lawyers and web designers, and a retired Air Force colonel. But they are all serious about their harmonizing. This is a group that sometimes will spend 15 or 20 minutes on a single phrase of music until it's perfect, matching every vowel, singing it right in tune, trying to get the musical flow together. It's a group of guys who, uh, there's hardly a professional musician in the group. They work all sorts of jobs, but on Thursday nights, they become professional musicians and they work like professional musicians. So it's, it's for guys who are completely dedicated to making incredible music, artistic music. On this evening, there is a guest coach working with them to polish and perfect their performance. The ambassadors are getting ready for the international competition this July in Louisville. They have finished third in the last three years and are considered a favorite this year to take home the gold. What's the highest note in the melody? What word? E. Of. Of. You know what? Who cares? Well, I don't want to hear how you look in the glow of evening. <laughs> La da da in the glow of evening. Glow of evening. Let's, let's just absolutely take that out of the line. Well, it's only February and they're already singing, you know, like metal, a medalist chorus. Uh, they also, in the district contest, they compared all the scores from the other district contest. Right now they're seated number one. And they're just, they all seem like they're willing to work very hard. They have great music. They have great leadership. It's a great bunch of guys that, that are really willing to work hard enough to win. Are they having fun? They're having a great time. Yeah, hard work is fun when improvement is evident. That's kind of what it's all about. Hard work is the reason the Ambassadors of Harmony are ranked third among 800 choruses worldwide. And hard work is what it takes to compete with the best of the best. The international competitions for the Barbershop Harmony Society, like this one in Atlanta a few years ago, draw quartets and choruses from all over the U.S. and Canada. It's a weekend of practice, friendship, and hopefully, perfect performance. Even when they are not competing, these barbershoppers love to sing. Many of the ambassadors have formed their own quartets, performing in concert with the chorus at private parties or delivering a singing valentine. Heart of my heart, I love you. My For $50, one of the quartets will deliver a rose, a box of chocolates, and sing two songs to your sweetheart. They will remember this for the rest of their lives, and that's what we're here for, to help people smile and be happy. The Ambassadors of Harmony perform for local audiences throughout the year, and as their popularity has grown, they've taken their act on the road. In a few weeks, they'll begin their second European tour. But today, they're a little closer to home. They have two performances here in Springfield, Illinois. Backstage, or in this case in the high school classrooms and corridors, 
There's a very relaxed atmosphere among the ambassadors of Harmony, many of whom have known each other and been performing together for many, many years. Does this mean I'm father of the bride? <laughs> Doesn't look like anybody's very nervous about performing. No. Now we've done this before. Everybody else has got their tux on. What are you waiting for? I'm waiting for, well, I don't like wearing hot black sweaty shoes or putting a tie on any time sooner than I have to. <laughs> so, we got plenty of time, you know. Is there a secret to that though, to stay loose before the performance? Uh, know the music, uh, know the moves, know the people standing around you, and trust the man in front of you. When the curtain goes up, the ambassadors are ready. Their repertoire has a broad range. Ballads, gospel, folk songs, jazz, and this popular Randy Newman tune gives them a chance to have a little fun with their director. Four young men, aged 19 to 26, make up one of the ambassador's quartets that is being featured in today's performance. Vocal Spectrum is their name. What's special about a cappella? Harmony. Harmony. Ringing chords. What's a ringing chord? I ringing chord is where, where you, you know, the intervals on like the piano are kind of out of tune, but with voices you can tune them so right that you create things like overtones and the things that give you goosebumps on your arms. So ringing chords is very key to this hobby. For these young men and most members of the ambassadors, singing barbershop is a hobby. But for director Jim Henry, it has been a part of his life for as long as he can remember. I was raised by this group. I mean, my, my dad was singing and directing this group uh, when I was a baby. So I literally grew up with this group from my earliest childhood and joined the group officially when I was 11 years old. He was always interested in singing from the time he was very, very little. His mother tells the story of how Henry joined the group. At that time, um, there were only adults allowed, and Jim wrote a letter, in fact, I think the chapter still has it someplace, um, as to all the reasons why they should allow an 11-year-old to join. And he more or less broke the tradition. But I remember when we were kids, we didn't really listen to the radio as much as we'd sing songs, and we'd sing them in four-part harmony all the time. I'd learn, you know, before my voice changed, my mom sang women's barbershop, and she'd have her learning tape, and I'd sing along with that and learn her part, and then she'd sing lead, and I'd sing harmony with her. So truly, it was just this incredible music education where, from my earliest memories, I learned how to blend my voice and how to sing harmony and where those notes went and everything else. Henry continued that music education, earning a Ph.D. in music composition. And now, the student has become the teacher. He is an associate professor at Lindenwood University and directs the student choral group. Not too shabby. Here we go. Whether he is teaching a class, directing his students, or directing the Ambassadors of Harmony, Jim Henry strives for musical and performing excellence and under his direction, 
this group that was founded in 1963 is closer than ever to that international championship. Every performance is a rehearsal for the competition in July. Each member of this chorus has the gift of song. More importantly, perhaps, they each have an abiding desire to share that gift with each other and to spread the joy they feel when many voices become one. <laughs> 